Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Got another incoming freshman scouting report for you here on the channel. And I'm going to talk about one of my favorite freshmen headed into college football, man. TJ Moore. Kid blew it up at the All-American game. He looks special. Headed to Clemson. 6'3", 190-pound receiver. I'm going to be joined by Luigi Tadone. We're going to go over everything you need to know to get ready for your C2C and Debbie drafts that are coming up, no doubt, this spring and summer. Uh, so buckle up, man. This is going to be a great show. We're going to go over his recruiting, his high school stats, and his uh, expectation for getting on the field uh, as a freshman at Clemson. I think he's got a pretty good shot, to be honest with you. So you play Debbie, you play C2C, and you're a dynasty player out there, and you're just looking for a channel to get an early look at future dynasty assets hit that subscribe button and i really appreciate it trying to grow the channel spending a lot of time putting out these cut-ups and and breakdowns for you guys all right let's not waste any more time let's get to the show hey luigi welcome back to the channel man i am excited about this uh freshman profile today man i am all in on tj moore wide receiver going to clemson welcome to the show man oh yeah man you're all in huh that's that's a bold statement thanks for having me back yeah, I am all in, man. I love this kid. Um, after his performance at the All-American Bowl, he was raised from a four-star to a five-star, and I can see why. We're mm-hmm. going to see those clips here shortly, so stick around, man. So let's go through his uh, little recruiting profile, his high school stats here, and get everyone updated, man. I think this guy is going to be an early C2C and Debbie selection in our supplemental drafts and startups. I know he will be for me. So let's take a look at his receiving stats. As a junior, he played 11 games, 42 receptions, over 1,000 yards, averaging 24.3 three yards a game had 13 touchdowns as a senior played 12 games 50 receptions 1200 yards and 17 tds this guy apparently played quarterback his freshman and sophomore year in high school and really didn't be it wasn't a receiver until his junior year which is uh, pretty impressive Mm -hmm. because the way he looks on the film right now um he he is a true athlete so let's go through his recruiting profile 24 7 sports he is now a five star Uh, 24 7 has him ranked number four in the class on three uh they also have him as a five star and they are ranking him as a uh number five wide receiver um in the class so he's a you know a top five receiver coming into uh, college football right so we get excited about that for us to play c2c and debbie so big question is is he going to get on the field i'm going to have you do luigi go through the you know the recruiting uh or the um you know the depth chart at clemson man w- what do you think w- give the good people a, a, yeah sure an outline sure i think he's got a chance to, to to break out early honestly i mean they've they've I think that's the way that Dabo wants to start doing things over there is uh, get, giving this freshman a little bit more um, just to keep him keep him on board, to keep him, you know, stick around. That's just the NIL uh, playing field right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they've got some guys there. Adam Randall, everyone's uh, uh, ho- hoping he, he can break out still. Right. Um, Antonio Williams is a, you know, big time Debbie asset for, for last year. Uh, you know, he, he's kind of some of the luster maybe has faded a little bit. Yeah. And you got sure. Tyler Brown, who was a huge, huge impact as a freshman. Um, so I, I think they're going to I think there's an opportunity there, you know, just um, he's a big bodied receiver. He adds a little bit of, um, uh, you know, different dimension to the to the wide receiver room and. I, you know, yeah, I think he's got a chance. I do. I, I do too, dude. I, I think, you know, he's 6'3", 190. Um, that's what it is on the Clemson website. So that's his official kind of weigh in for, as a freshman. Mm-hmm. Um, he's not on campus until June. So we're not going to get any spring news from him or anything like that. But um, his profile on Clemson has him at 6'3", 190. And I love that size. I mean, we know Clemson yeah. usually has those taller guys. And we're going to see on the film here very shortly, man, this dude is a vertical threat. And I think Antonio Williams and Tyler Brown, um, are more kind of slotty, you know, short area kind of receivers. I think this guy's going to take the top off and, um, you know, see if Club Nick can get him the ball downfield. But yeah. uh, I'm, I'm excited about this player. But, man, I'll tell you what, we're going to see on the film. We're going to get to it right here. We're going to go to the film room. We're going to see hands, ball control, ball skills, concentration at the catch point. Um, his All-American bowl game, man, I'll tell you, I can see why he went from a four-star to a five-star. Let's get right to it, man. We're going to go to the film room, and we're going to take a look at those highlights at the All-American Bowl. All right, as promised, here we are at the All-American Bowl with some TJ Moore highlights. I'm going to run through all these. I'll tell you what, I said it before, ball skills, hands. I think he's got some yak ability as well, but you're going to see some spectacular catches here. Um, again, just uh, the the body control, the concentration is, uh, I think, really good. This is someone, I mean, we've been doing five or six of these films already, and we're going to be doing all the freshmen between now and college football 
uh, of all the receivers that we've done so far outside of Jeremiah Smith, I think this is the kid that's got me most excited. I mean, just look at the hands there, just the concentration, um, the ability to go back and get the ball. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about this kid. I'm, I'm hey, I'm excited about him too. I, he's gonna. I think he's gonna be a contribute early. Um, I, you know, I'm I'm always straight. My brain is always just straight to the NFL draft. Where's he gonna get drafted? What's his role in the NFL? What's his role in the NFL? You know, and I, uh, you know, I could see a I could see a wide receiver too. I could see mm -hmm. a guy playing on the in the Z the outside. Um, well, he's six three one ninety. He's got he's got enough time to put on some muscle, but. I don't know. To yeah. me, I, it's a little early to project an incoming freshman for the NFL draft. I'm looking at, at least a little more closer to, um, you know, the Debbie and C2C aspects. And, right. and, you know, so anything can happen. But I mean, this guy's a vertical threat. We're going to see when we get to his huddle film, guys, that I mean, this guy is 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 a vertical threat, which I don't think Clemson has right now, like really on their roster, looking at Tyler Brown and Antonio Williams. Again, the, he had two touchdowns in this game. I mean, he just put himself on the map, but we're going to get to the huddle film here. Um, and you're going to just see a lot of these plays guys are just vertical, you know, him just winning vertically, which is nice. And there are some clips in here where we're going to see some route running, some hip sync, some, you know, space creation is, is really what we're looking for. Uh, these guys are usually, you know, faster than everybody else. So, but you can yeah. just see, you know, just all these vertical plays. He's just open. He's just beating everyone vertical. So he must have some decent wheels. Uh, yeah, I think, well, I think he's like a, oh, gosh, I think he was like an 11, five ish kind of guy. Um, so he's, he's got like that. He comes in right under the where the threshold is for what you want. Mm -hmm. uh, he's probably like a four or five, four, six guy. And, and right. I think, you know, down mm -hmm. the line, um, he's got great body control, really he natural does. separate. He's got good separation skills for his size. Um, he's a great football player. I'll say that sometimes, you know, he's just a really good football player. It's not all about, hey, you're a great athlete. Go play football. OK, you know, that's not the kind of kid he is. You know, he really right. did show up on the All-American. Yeah, he sure did, man. With, yeah, with all that top talent, he didn't face him at all. Yeah. Yeah. He so guy. here's a, you know, again, we I, I want to look for some of these, you know, manipulation. Yeah, right there. That's good. Right. A little like, stop, stutter, and stop, mm -hmm. stop and go. Um. Uh, he looks the part to me, man. I just, like I said, I, I, at the catch point, I think he's just phenomenal. I mean, here he is, just the concentration, the ability to fight through all of that, the hands, and then to, to you know, to reach for the end zone like that. But, I mean, he just goes up and gets the ball. I mean, this guy's hands are, are just phenomenal. Arrogant hands, yeah. Yep, arrogant hands. I love That's it. his ball. So... But man, he just they just threw it up. But he's he's got separation on a lot of these vertical plays. Mm -hmm. So he's either he's got, you know he might not might not be the fastest guy, but he must have some sort of manipulation going on. It's um, body a lot of body control, you know, a lot of body mm -hmm. control stuff. It's um, just a simple go route there. Able to create space and you know, good stutter step booth. off the line, great in space. They've got Adam Randall there. He's a bigger bodied guy. Yeah, we're still waiting for him. It's been a few years, so this is his third year. So we're going to see if the Adam, Adam ran. I remember two years ago, everybody was gaga over him, too. So you never know what can happen, really. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's really, it depends it's really on tough. your league, you know, yeah, well, what, what your needs are, yeah. what the other players are thinking. I'm going to be probably pretty cautious with these types of players. We'll see where they, you know, depends on my league. Um, but I, I don't know we've done Cam Coleman on here. We've done Wingo, uh -huh. and I don't know. This kid to me looks different than those than those guys. Okay, okay, that's okay. Just, that's that's good. So yeah, here we go with some good yak ability. A little bit of stutter step again. Just um, you know, just the, the way he weaves in and out. And the last play here that we're going to see comes on. It shows some really good route technique as far as route running. And, of course, that's what it all comes down to, these highlight films. But, again, just showing his yak ability here, his toughness, his mm -hmm. physicality, you know, his burst and acceleration. He, You know, he kind of lost his footing there a little that's bit. Okay. But, okay. Um, but, again, this was the last play, I think, that I wanted to do and just shows the, you know, Great. the ability to, you know. And this is how I can see him possibly winning Um you know, sells the deep ball, good hip sync. Yes. You know, so whatever kind of route running, again, I like his his height. I like his, you know, 190 frame. He's probably going to be mm -hmm. 200, 205 by the time he gets to the NFL in three years. But I don't know, man, of all the films of the freshman, TJ Moore is a, a guy that I think I'm going to be putting in my list. He's going to be definitely making my top 100 on our dashboard subscription. So 
What are your overall thoughts on him? Um, I'm like I said, I'm going to be cautious with with him. I love the talent, um, but I'd rather have like a Tory Horton. You know what I mean? I'd rather have a guy who's proven himself in college that maybe people are want people who have the fever have the freshman fever going to jump in mm -hmm. guys like this you know because guys like cam and coleman Wing wingo they go fast they go off the board oh, yeah. Fast, so yeah yeah i i um, agree that's just that's what the that's the game dude i mean that's that that's is the, the game, yes. that's the Devi and c2c game so freshman fever as much as we want to you know kind of not fall into that trap it's almost impossible not to because um you know, but I think there's an opportunity, you know, Antonio Williams this year for Clemson, I think could be a rebounder. He, you know, yeah. I was a big fan of him after his freshman year. Tyler Brown popped last year. Adam Randall, we've been waiting to see if he, in fact, you know, uh, emerges this year. He's had some injuries he's had to deal with. But TJ Moore, man, good, good player. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Luigi, thank you, man. I appreciate you jumping Anytime. on. Anytime. You know, yes, sir. Just ground and grinding this film with us, man. We're going to be doing a lot of these films. So please hit that subscribe button. We're going to be doing films like this all spring, all summer. Uh, we'll probably hit the top 10 or 15 of each position by the time you go into your Debbie and supplemental drafts. Thanks for watching.